A Georgia grand jury indicting former President Trump and 18 of his allies on 41 total criminal counts in the 2020 election case. The former president calling the charges election interference. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy writing this on X. Justice should be blind, but Biden has weaponized government against his leading political opponent to interfere in the 2024 election. Americans see through this desperate sham. Joining me now is New Jersey Congressman Jeff Drew. He's a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, uh, good morning. Your initial reaction to these to the fourth indictment uh, against the former president of the United States. This is a sad day for America. All these indictments have been sad, not because the president has done anything wrong. He hasn't. He believes what he said, and he told what he, he said what he believed. What's sad about all this is the fact that literally the Biden administration, their minions, the people that work with them, and the people that are involved with the supposed justice system have been weaponized, politicized, and are corrupt. I hate to say it this way, but they are bad people. And if we're not careful, they're going to destroy our republic. Todd Pyro is on set with me this morning. Todd, go ahead. Have you and your colleagues in Congress on the Republican side figured out a way to bring individuals like New York DA Alvin Bragg and the Fulton County uh, attorney there, uh, Fannie Willis? Have you figured out a way to bring them before Congress to ask them if what they're doing is legit? Well, let me say this, and, and I think this is important. I think we need an impeachment inquiry. It's not the impeachment yet, but it's the inquiry. It gives you uh, more significant powers to go forward with subpoenas, more significant powers to investigate, investigatory powers, and I think it is time. I'm pushing for that. I spoke with the speaker yesterday. There are other folks that are pushing for it, too. This is not a time. This is not a time for Republicans to be weak and wobbly and stupid. Let me just say that, just as blank as I can say it, as straightforward as I can say it. This is a time to be bold and make sure we're doing the right thing. We are fighting for the republic. I'm serious. I, I don't know if people know the seriousness of that. We, we depend on an impartial, decent system. And what has been done, as we all know, with this special uh, you know, council that's been done there is made sure that it's going to be harder for us to investigate. The special counsel is going to do nothing. The special counsel is the person. Uh, Weiss is the person who helped to broker the deal with the attorney general and others with the Department of Justice, where Hunter Biden, who committed serious crimes, would be completely exonerated and any future crimes that were found, you'd be kept completely immune from that as well. Mm. And you take that same person and you say that they're now, after they've had this for five years, the same group of people are going to investigate properly. You know what we know? We know that the people who are doing the investigations need to be investigated themselves. So we're going to do everything we possibly can. We are going to push to have and subpoena those folks forward because these are bad people that need to tell the truth, and we've got to continue to push hard in judiciary. But this makes it more difficult, and that's why we need the impeachment inquiry. And, and to, be, to be clear, you know, we're talking about uh, about the case with against Hunter Biden, uh, the special counsel David Weiss that's been appointed now, which many are saying that that you know, a lot of the facts have been buried. He got that sweetheart deal, etc. And then again, we're, I, I just want to mention that you know your colleague, your Republican co colleague from Florida, Greg Stubbe, he actually has filed articles of impeachment against President Biden. Do you agree with Greg Stubbe that, I mean, Kevin McCarthy has kind of, I think, towed the line a little bit better and said, well, let, let's do an inquiry. You're saying inquiry. Your reaction to Greg Stubbe, though, saying let's file the articles now, which he's done. Well, look, I respect uh, Stubbe a great deal. He's a good man, and he says exactly what he believes. And I think what he's done is good because it brings this all to light. It really makes sure that the American public realize how serious these crimes are, that President Biden, then Vice President Biden, when he did them, and his son were involved in. Now, where I would be a little different than Greg is, and I think he'd be happy with this, um, is if we go forward with the impeachment inquiry first, get an even tighter, better case. It's all there. They're criminal, what okay. they did. 
it's all there, but we have to get across every T, dot every I. That's what the inquiry does, even gives us more stuff, and then we move on. To the Take your time, gather the evidence, et cetera. Uh, I, I want to pivot back Correct. to these charges against, uh, against former President Trump, uh, because former Secretary of State and presidential candidate Hillary Clinton weighed in on these charges against Trump last night. I want you to watch this and get your reaction. This is uh, a terrible moment for our country to have uh, a former president accused of these uh, terribly uh, important crimes. The only satisfaction may be that the system is working, mm. uh, that all of the efforts by Donald Trump, his allies and his enablers to try to silence uh, the truth, to try to undermine uh, democracy, uh, have been brought into uh, the light. and. Justice is being pursued. Congressman? She's one of the corrupt, bad people who are destroying our republic. How dare she say that after she destroyed over 30,000 emails that she had with some important information on there? How dare she say that when she called literally half of the American population deplorables? How dare she say that when she's involved in so much corruption and so much which is wrong in our country right now? Um, that, that disgusts me, what she said. Uh, well, you know, this former President Trump, this fourth indictment actually happening just days after Attorney General Merrick Garland appointed that special counsel for the Hunter Biden investigation that you were, you know, you were speaking of just a couple seconds ago. You know, Fox's Jackie Heinrich asked White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre if the administration will interfere with the special counsel's probe. I want you to watch this as well, sir. How can the White House assure people that the case involving the president's son is being handled fairly? The Department of Justice is independent. That is what the president believes. He believes that this White House will not politicize the Department of Justice. Uh, this was done under the leadership of a Trump-appointed U.S. attorney, as you all know. And so um, I'm just I'm not going to add anything else to that. Congressman, what did you think of that response from her yesterday? Uh, it's absurd. I mean, the Department of Justice has been shilling and protecting the Biden family and the Bidens for years, and we know that. They wouldn't bring forward, I mean, literally every level of government, whether it's the leadership in the IRS, whether it's the Department of Justice, the FBI, uh, all of them have been working in tandem to protect this president and to hide the truth. I mean, I'll tell you a real quick story. I, you know, obviously, I'm in the district. The lady came forward, and one of my constituents, you know, thanked me for what I'm doing, which was nice. But then she looked me in the eye, and this is how Americans, many Americans feel. And she said, you know, I'm sad to say, but I don't trust our leadership in America right now. And I looked at her and I said, I don't either. That's where we're at. We need to clean house. We need to bring our country back. Congressman Jeff Andrew, it's always good to speak with you.